Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back. This October, we are going to be doing Wicked Wednesdays as we dive into a series of horror movies each week to commemorate the spooky season. Two of the movies that we're going to be checking out this month are going to be extensions of films that we have seen before, whether it be a sequel or prequel to said films that I wanted to check out eventually, but I've just kind of been holding off until I felt like it was a little more appropriate. And then, of course, we have a couple of uh, films that are unrelated to anything we've seen before that we're gonna be checking out. One is gonna be the monthly poll winner of this month, and then a little surprise for the end of the month. Now, we're gonna be kicking it off, something a little bit light, something a little more fun, and that is the sequel to one of the films we have seen in the past, and that is Happy Death Day to You. I really enjoyed the first film. It was so much fun, and I'm excited to see what the sequel is about, because I don't know how you make a sequel to it. So I'm excited to see how they kind of work that in, what they do with it, how we get the ball rolling there. I know a lot of you guys have been really waiting for me to get into this. I'm sorry it's taken so long, but we are finally here. So let's go ahead and strap in. If you want to see the Fallen 3 action, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or for Gummer Marvel's channel, could you access as well? It is a watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up the time codes for actually the entire film. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover on the channel. You also can suggest and vote what movies we react to each month. It's just a great way to support the channel and help us do the things we do over here. But at the end of the day, I really appreciate it. Enjoy this reaction. At least leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Huge shout out to the team over at Prepper for helping me edit down these highlights for you guys here on YouTube. And with that all said and out of the way, let's go ahead and hop into Happy Death Day to you. Here we go. Oh. Oh yeah, they did do something like this before. Oh God. Yeah, didn't they do some kind of weird editing with the Universal logo in the first one also? I honestly, it's been so long, I, I don't remember. But I feel like, it, I feel it in my bones that they did something fun with it. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm real curious how this starts off again. How we find ourselves back in another situation like this. Wake your ass up. Clean your car. Wow, that, that shouldn't happen, stepping out of the driver's seat. Passenger, rear seats, I could kinda get behind, but the driver's seat? One, that's just dangerous. Sorry, bro. Are we setting our loop already? Hmm, because this is the roommate, the one that kept like coming in at inappropriate times in the in the first one, right? Stop so sorry, don't speak English. Okay. Wow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the poor kid. Fair enough. Sucks when you have to wait in line to get into one of the uh, the booths, but it happens, man. Hey, lo and behold. Get out. I just want to clean underwear. Hey, it said occupied, bud. Watch. Oh my God, I'm you right now, man. Oh, he is breaking up. You just come now. Where? What if it's not happening to her this time? What if it's happening to him? Because we are following him throughout this day and we're already seeing a lot of the staples of a loop. Oh, you need to get in here right now. Well, there were three in the opening. What if all three of our characters have one? How would that even work? I don't even know. 0.7 millinewtons of energy? That's, that's like huge. When? Uh, yesterday, 12 1 a.m. She looks familiar. We have no idea what set the device off. Like, lab was locked. Was she in the 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 shitty new Texas Chainsaw Massacre? I'm pioneering forward-thinking ideas that yield results. Results that lead to patents. Do you see how it works? So it's just about money? Yes, Mr. Fan. I hate to shatter your illusions, but somebody has to keep the lights on around here. Something you seem hell-bent on stopping. <laughs> Rude. I've already called Professor Boner. It's pronounced Boner. And he's in total agreement with my request. I'm sending security to come and collect this energy sucking doohickey by six o'clock today. You can't just take her. Watch me. Mm -hmm. 
Lovely. Hello? There's an NES over there hooked up to that CRT. I miss my NES. Damn, already? What the hell? Hey, shitbags, while you off playing games, our project got shut down. I hope you're happy. What is wrong with you? Why are you sneaking up on me? I was bringing you a... Well, now it's covered in bacteria, so that's <laughs> $2 wasted. So ungrateful. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, unless that was all a dream, which I don't think they're gonna pull. But that was a quick reset, though. What if it's Happy Death Day to you? Also playing, obviously, on it's a sequel, but what if it's because it's happening to someone else this time? I'm so sorry, man. I, I, I'm so sorry. Wow. Shut up! It's still so funny to me. Right. Dude, I am tripping right now. What's it called? When you feel like you've already lived through something before. Deja vu. Oh, no. <laughs> she really perked up. The day reset when you died, right? Yeah, some psycho dude in a baby mess attacked me. Again. And who's the killer this time? Uh, hello? Will someone please explain what the hell is going on? <laughs> yeah, we got we got some stuff to talk about. But I like how they immediately jumped right into uh, explaining this. Like, there was no hesitation. This wasn't a case of regular deja vu. One instance, and that was enough to be like full on, let's go into conspiracy mode. Turns out it was my roommate, Lori. I guarantee this time around, it's probably going to be one of his uh, project, uh, what you would call it, cohorts. And killed her, which broke the loop, or so I thought. But now it only looks like I passed the loop onto you, and you're going to be stuck reliving this day until we figure out how to stop it. Of course. I'm still dreaming. Oh, my God. All right. We got to let him go through a couple more cycles. It's a dream within a dream. No. No, it's not. But I get it. Shh. But still. I'm trying to wake myself up. There, see, you're not dreaming. Why'd you hit my penis? <laughs> That's oh. Barely touched you. Okay. Show me where you died. <laughs> Damn, man. We did not hesitate at all to get this going. It's just weird that it's happening to him. But yeah, I'm, I'm willing to bet this time around it's it's one of the people that are working on that project with him. Dude, a mop? I guess. If you got nothing else. He's not just going to be waiting in the doorway. That's not how it works. Oh! He got the bishop of the mama! Wait, but he saw the baby mask. Broken. What is happening in here? Hmm. I broke my cheekbone. Was it him? What the hell? Where'd you get that mask? It was just laying in the hallway. Oh, so he was wearing it. That cut made it unclear to me. Broken bulbs all over campus, and it's all because of your little science project. What science project? The Sisyphus Quantum Cooling Reactor. We call it Sissy for short. <laughs> So basically, we're trying to prove that time can be slowed down on a molecular level. It hasn't worked yet, but we did find some promising data. Is that what causes the loop? Monday the 18th. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> you created the time loop, don't you? Wow! <laughs> uh. Maybe we thought we were slowing time, but what if we looped it instead? And now you're stuck in this day. <laughs> You're gonna die again and again. Carter, tell your girlfriend stop trying to scare me. Oh, she's not my girlfriend. Uh, I'm oh, sorry. My girlfriend? What? Kinda. <laughs> Oof. You ditched our house meeting. It was canceled after I kicked my murdering roommate out of a window. Exactly. Who's gonna pledge Kappa now that we have a death curse? Oh my God. Ew. Who are 
these people. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Samar. Hey, Samosa. My head's the middle one. The middle one? <laughs> what? Did she just call me Samosa? Yep. You think she likes him? No. Guys, mm -hmm. focus. I don't want to die. But on the bright side, you'll come back. I died 11 times. 11? Hell no. <laughs> uh... We just need to find the safest possible place and wait it out there. Where? How is this even, how is this better? I mean, it's public, sure. Yeah, she's like, what the hell? Who picks a creepy baby for a mascot anyway? I knew I should have gone to MIT. They didn't be getting killed by a giant beaver. Aw, oh, that was the the dude that she told to come out, right? And he's actually there with a guy. Let's go. Here, I thought I was stuck in the same day for some big cosmic reason. Turns out it was just some big scientific fluke. Mm. I got a little something right here. Yep. Yep. Yeah. You nerd. <laughs> it got a smile back on her face, though. So mission accomplished. Here we go. Look at all these babies you're surrounded by now. Who knows what could happen? This was such a stupid fucking plan. Wait up. Here we go. Oh, it even looks like it might even be the same mask as before. It looks all fucked up and dirty. Uh, they're even in here on these mannequins. What the fuck? All right, what are you gonna bump into? Oh, shit. That's probably a security guard or something. Oh, yo! Well, who is it? Only one way to find out. Before they find out, a bomb goes off. <gasps> what the fuck? Who? Wait. What the hell? Do we have alternate timelines now? Time travel itself? He's trying to kill himself? Oh, shit. Stop well, this project from you? even what existing? Saying, dummy? What you. the Duh. fuck? I was trying to close the loop, but somehow I got knocked into a parallel time loop. We're all in serious Wait, danger. what? The longer we exist in the same oh, dimension, God. the worse things will Are there three different timelines? Me? He's going to create bigger problems if you do not stop him. Kill him now! No, screw that. Kill him. You're wasting your time. You know, screw this. I'll just take care of it myself. Wait, what are you doing? Why would you turn this thing on and cause the problem to begin with? Forget him. He's crazy. I'm the one who designed this. I know what I'm doing. You're the one that caused this! Distance, not time. Okay, so now you're going to call Han Solo a liar? No, I'm saying if a normal castle run is... Drake, help me! <laughs> Come on! Whoa. Dude, did you doze my Yoo-Hoo again? What did I tell you about turning that thing on? Turn it off now! Just get, get him. Ryan, what are you doing? Guys, take the wrench from him! He's a college student! Unplug it! Uh-oh. Oh, it already initialized. What? I don't know how I feel about all of this being the result of this science experiment. I did like the kind of ambiguous supernatural element of it. Like she said, like the kind of almost like destiny kind of fulfillment that came with it. I mean, it works, but they are leveling it up. You know, created the time loop, was causing all those power issues. What now, though? 
Oh no. Oh no. No! No! <laughs> what the fuck? Why? It dragged her back into it. So now they have to deal with time traveling, what's his nuts, and the guy they already stopped before? Oh my god. I don't believe this. I just got out. How could you do this to me? Explain. Go. Come on. We we got a recap. We got we don't have time. This sucks. It sucks the biggest mega balls in the history of shitty ball suckery. <laughs> I'm okay. You sure? Yes. I gotta go kill my roommate. Ryan, we need to go to your lab, turn on Sissy, and figure out how to send me back. Let's go. On delay, people! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> God, she's so good at manic. This is surreal. And then him. You haven't returned You are gay. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, is she speed running to kill her roommate? You sneaky little biatch. That's weird. Something's different. You're supposed to be here. Wait, what the hell? Where's the cupcake? What cupcake? The one you made for my birthday. The one you poisoned. There's no cupcake. Sorry. Oh. Right. They said it could launch them into another parallel timeline. Maybe she got launched into one. It's the same day. Different series of events. Similar, but different. It's different. Because he did say they were overlapping in alternate timelines, which leads back to that universal intro where it splits into threes. Oh my God. Does this mean that, does this mean that there are two? Oh, wait. You're probably stuck in a quantum cyclic dimension. What? There's only one of you here because the other you got knocked into a parallel dimension somewhere in the multiverse. Okay, Ryan, thanks for clearing that up. I that did not helpful. expect this shit in this. This is our universe, okay? Well, look, in theory, the universe has six dimensions. Now, if what you're saying is true, then maybe you woke up on the same day. Dude, they love this fucking pencil through paper analogy. Danielle, I'm sorry. Okay. I just did you doing all right? Oh, no. <laughs> what is this? Hi, Rai. Wow. Oh, is she, she's blind? Did that look real? Oh, okay. I'm auditioning okay. Never for this mind. year's production of The Miracle Worker. Did you know Anne Frank was blind and deaf? Uh, Helen Keller. Excuse me? <sighs> Anne Frank was in the attic. Whatever. All I know is acting blind is probably harder than actually being blind. I mean, this skill set it takes. Somebody missed our house meeting today. I'm sorry. I was kidding. Birthday girls get a free pass. Hmm. We're doing the special needs art fair again. Oh, nice. You do so much good, Danielle. Wow. This Danielle is so much better than the other one. And at the end of the day, there is no greater gift in life than the love of a child. <clears throat> but if this happened to her here, did that also happen to everybody that got hit by that wave? Were they all catapulted into a parallel timeline? Meet me in the lab at three. We are figuring this out before it gets any worse. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. It's okay, sweetie. It's just been a... Okay, if she is here, and maybe he tried to explain this, what happened to the tree that's here? Are you ready to she order? wouldn't have been hit by the machine one yet. One more. Okay. Okay, I'll be right back. 
Oh, her mom is alive here. Oh no. Mm. Oh, you're really here. Well, of course I'm here. It's our time. I think like what he was trying to say is when she got catapulted into another universe, it also catapulted the tree from that other universe she entered into another universe. So it's almost like a domino effect of just getting yeeted into a timeline that's not yours. Try it now. 20 seconds. Again, dude, this is nowhere near even the top 20 possibilities that I would have considered for where this was going to go for the sequel. Three, two. <laughs> you told me to. No, I, I know. I changed my mind. Oh, now she wants to stay here. Hmm. Why the change of heart? Everything's different. It's different now. Wait, when were you gonna tell me? I'll tell you what. About Danielle. Yeah, what about Danielle? Oh, is he a douchebag here? One of her closest friends woke up in your bed this morning. Nothing happened. I slept in Ryan's bed last night. So why take me home? I was afraid you were gonna fall or choke on your own vomit like Janice Chop. Oh. Fair enough. Ish. Still weird, but still. Hey, Lori isn't trying to kill me. I mean, this is like the better version of my life, right? What are you doing, Gregory? In this other dimension where we... I... I can't do this right now. No, That's so weird. Wow. Even like the stuff on her phone is completely different. It's not like she physically went over, so I guess it's like her consciousness bops over. I, uh, I can't make it. Something came up. What? You know, my parents are in town and I need to... Oh, our tuition dollars at work. I have been feeling so extremely unappreciated by you. That left one office. Uh oh. He's still here. Fun. He's going to escape. Call the police. Who? Oh, John Toomes just called the police. What? He's not here. This is another. This has got to be another alteration. Yeah. But she's gonna kill me! Okay, shit, you're a lady. But two is down here on right now. The nurse just took him. Oh. I know you think I'm crazy, but you gotta believe me! Five ah! hospital need immediate assistance. Oh shit! Oh, oh, geez, God! <laughs> I know it's you, Lori! <laughs> wow. Well who is What the fuck is going on? <laughs> what if it's another version of her now? Just like it was another version of that other kid in the last one timeline that is, not movie, obviously. This must be one of the floors under construction. Oh, wow. What the hell? All right, asshole. Let's see what you got. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, nice. <laughs> Just run. Don't gloat. Oh, no. Well, here we go again. <sighs> Rookie move tree. Oh, hey. It's weird that it creates a loop, but also bleeds alternate timelines. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, never better. Okay. The trauma's already kicking in. Meet me in your lab in an hour. Huh? Got to get out of these disgusting clothes. Hey, finally! A change of clothes. You realize we're messing with things we have no business touching, right? Well, then why are you doing it? Before you built the big dumb thing. 
we have to rule out every variable in order to narrow down the correct algorithm that will close the loop. I mean, it's days, maybe weeks of work. And if what you're saying is true, there's no way to keep a record of our progress. I'm not following. We can all do that by doing the same day by having her track their progress. By the end of the day, the loop will reset, right? So everything we learned is gone. Gets erased. There's no way for us to track our progress simply because we just don't remember anything we learned. So you take note of it, somehow memorize it, and uh, yeah, keep track of it. Okay, you said everything resets, but your memory, right? Yeah. There it is. All right, well, then you can... You're gonna have to memorize literally everything. It's like Loki. You mean memorize everything? Yeah. I mean, you do realize there's a killer after me, right? That means I'm gonna have to die over and over again until you guys figure out how to close the loop. It's pretty fucked up. I mean, I guess you could just kill yourself before they find you. Wow, another genius idea. Better than being chased by some crazy guy in a baby mask. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Maybe. You have a better idea? What's with that fish just with, named Wayne on the board there? You were gonna say that. <sighs> I mean, at least at the end of the day, well, no. How is she, how are you gonna memorize all of this? <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> oh my God. <clears throat> wow. She's got such an expressive face. She's just looking for new ways to do it. <gasps> oh my good god. My life. <laughs> At least she gets to spend this day over and over again with her parents, both of them. Oh, oh, um, are you serious? Oh! <laughs> oh, please tell me she falls right here. Wow. Oh, <laughs> oh no. No. This is so fucking hilarious. I'm lightheaded, dude. Ugh. I mean, after you do it a, a bunch of times, you gotta shake it up, right? Time to Gwen Stacy it. Oh, that's cool. Man, they kill it with these montages, dude. What the hell are you always looking for under that desk? Oh, you see, my mouth card. <laughs> Mystery solved. Yeah, I am kind of surprised that never came up, actually. Ow. You okay? More lingering effects. Because, I mean, last time, the more she dies, the more her body didn't recover the next loop, wasn't it? So that seems to have continued on, because even on her first loop, she had some uh, some issues right out of the gate. So it's not like her body reset at all, even though Actually. they broke the loop and then went right back into it. Get that fine vagina or what? Oh! Uh, we'll help you. Uh, okay. Now she's in the hospital. Again. You still came. Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't I? Oh, we gotta hold mm. your parents. They're on their way. They can't come here. It's not safe. Visiting hours were over. Thanks, Carter. So what did they find? I want to know, like, what does her chart look like? I guess now you know why I wasn't in your class today. Pardon? Advanced bio. Are you in my class? You don't look familiar. <sighs> I've been having a hard time pulling up your medical records. I know, I should be dead. Yes. <laughs> what time is it? Almost 9.30. <gasps> She's about to die. Who? Lord, he's gonna kill her. You need to stop her from going down to the OR. I'm sorry, I don't know who you're talking about. Oh, really? Well, maybe your wife does. 
Oof. Go. <laughs> I like this score. This movie's so dark, but it's so goofy. It just balances itself out. This is the world's emptiest hospital. Hmm, that doesn't look good. Too late. Damn it. Watch it be the pretty doctor this time. Nope, it's still tombs. Set you free. Fuck. Fine. I go. You go. What if she survived that though? That would suck. Oh, hey, you're up. Wasn't sure if you want to sleep in or not. I am so done with this shit. Then you multiply the Euclidean vector by the square. Yep, here we go. Boom. Well, damn. If these are all the failed algorithms... Then there's only one possibility left. Let's go. Yes. It worked. Oh. Oh, my God. oh my God. Why are we so excited? We barely know her. <laughs> it's final decision time. Stay here or go back. I'm staying here. Final decision. Why? Well, mom and try to steal him in this timeline. I mean, we still have a killer, though. That does mean if we close the loop and she dies, she dies, right? What happened? The math was right. Something else is off. It must be a virus. Did you open spam porn again on the computer? No. Great. I have to manually re-enter all this code. Wow. Six, seven hours. Okay, well, what about the killer? When you said people are going to die tonight. If you close the loop and we don't help, then they're dead for good, aren't they? I have to stay alive. I can't go back to that hospital. It's way too risky. Okay, so that's it? You're just going to walk away and let a bunch of innocent people die? People die every day, Carter. Mm. I don't want to have to choose between you and my mom, but I have to. Carter, we're together in the other dimension. But that version of us is back there, and my mom is alive here. So I've made my decision. What if you're wrong? What if this isn't the life that you're, you're supposed to have? So what? I'm just supposed to go back to some dimension where my mom's dead. I can't lose her again. You already did. Oof. You're living someone else's life that doesn't belong to you. Like your pain. Mm, that yeah. That loss. It's what makes you you. But you have the chance to do something other people only dream of. What? You can say goodbye. No. It's like a second chance. Oh, that got me. That got me a little bit right there. Whew. Sweetie, what's wrong? I'm okay. I... Oh, you don't look okay. I'm okay. I... Mom. You're cold as ice. Maybe we should go to the hospital. No. <laughs> I don't want to freak you guys out, but I need to get as far away from campus as possible. Teresa, what's going on? I promise to explain everything later, but I need you to trust me. Okay, we'll go. Let's go. Mm. to survive as long as possible. You guys ready? Let's close this loop once and for all. Hey, you know what I'm craving right now? Not getting T-boned by another car, getting hit head on by a semi truck or whatever the hell is about to happen. Green Maro Bay. From our birthday last year, you don't remember you ate two of them. That wasn't me. She doesn't have any of their memories. She doesn't share anything with this version of her mother. I think that was the wake-up call she needed about this whole thing. Why'd we focus on that? Lori! But which one are you? But it's a boy, isn't it? I don't know, it's complicated. Trust me. I can do complicated. I don't know if you could do this. <laughs> 
Have you ever wondered what your life would have been like if you couldn't be with Dad? And sometimes the past is pulling us in one direction and the future is calling us somewhere new. Hmm. But how did you know that he was the one? I didn't. I took a chance. Followed my heart. That's kind of how love works, Tree. It's a leap of faith. No. Tragedy continues to unfold. Details are still coming in, but so far we can confirm three victims. Nurse and a police Oof. officer. The third victim, a student, was killed while attempting to subdue the suspect. <sighs> you gotta make it back and stop them from closing the loop. Come on, I'm not sure about this ice. Kind of smells like pee. Tree! Oh, if she crashes into the substation, maybe she can cut off power to the town and stop it herself. Yep, there it is. <laughs> That's still not even a surefire way to do it too. Like what if she did crash into it and they still close the loop? It doesn't shut off their grid. God, that would suck. God. <sighs> Round, I don't even know at this point. How much longer is it gonna take? Thanks to your crazy memory, shouldn't take long at all. I got Sissy ready to go in just a few minutes. Hell yeah. I need a little more time. There's something I need to do. Say goodbye. You sure you want to go back? I can't spend my life living in the past. I take a leap of faith. No. I mean, we saw a doppelganger of him interacting with himself, but we've still kind of committed to... I mean, we know there's two baby faces running around out here, but, like, we haven't seen any other examples of that happening yet. He's not worth it. I've been involved with a married guy. I know what it's like living a double life, always feeling like shit about yourself. As someone once told me that every day is a chance to be someone better. Maybe this is your day. Mm, cute. Take care of yourself. How did this swing me into actual feelings? Damn it. But I'm still holding out that the the second baby face is is her. <laughs> Hell, maybe even the her that's supposed to be here. Um, look. Uh, you know, who's in the bathroom? I'm really bad. I've totally been misjudging you, and it's completely on me. I am so sorry that I've like made. The oh, wow. Nick's um shower was broken, so I said he could use mine. Right, Nick? My shower is fine. Fucking idiot. Right. Um, never mind. Sorry for interrupting. Ow! Oh, what was that for? For being dumb as a rock, that's what. Oh, really? How can a rock be dumb? They don't even have brains. Do you mind if I talk to Mom alone for a minute? Just some girl talk. I really want you to know how much I love you. You know, people say I love you all the time, but it's not until you can't say it to that person's face anymore that you really realize how much you mean it. When I was pregnant with you, I was scared shitless. <laughs> the moment I held you, something inside of me changed. The best kind of love does that. It changes you. It makes you a better person. I really thought I could have it all, but I can't. But guess what? That's okay. You'll get what you need. Come here. God, man, this movie, like, it juggles these tones surprisingly well. Happy birthday. Babyface just shows up plowing a car right into their table. Hey, and science or not, all of this brought her to this moment to give her that closure with her mom, fulfilling that fear she had they were talking about at the basketball game about learning the cause and how that undid what she thought it was. And yet again, here we are. Beautiful. I know this is probably pretty confusing. You guys have only known me for a couple hours, but I've known you for weeks. No. In this other dimension, do we, we know each other? And you could say that. 16, 15, 40. Oh, God damn it. This isn't supposed to happen yet. You're not supposed to come until tomorrow. Turn that thing off now. No, don't. 
No! I'm a student here. Oh, we'll keep this little attitude up and we'll change that. Get that thing out of here. Hey, watch it, Beefcake. We spent 18 months with that. Wow. Wait, what the fuck? What do we do? What the shit? My office where it will remain under lock and key. We're gonna have to break in and get it out and fire it up. Why did that happen though? I will just reset the day and try again. No, I keep getting weaker every time I come back. If I die again, I could stay dead unless we steal it back. Whoa, guys, I don't know about this. You created this mess, so you're obligated to help her out of it. Besides, if she dies again tonight, that's blood on your hands. That's yeah, but it's true. <laughs> He's right. This is our fault. So we fix it. That's what scientists do. We solve the problem. How does this create the version of him that went back to try to kill himself, though? Like, there's some aspects of this that aren't adding up just yet, but we may just not be meant to, like, worry about any of that. We go back to the lab without anyone from security seeing us, get Dean Bronson's keys back to him without him ever knowing they were gone. Power up says he run diagnostics, flip the switch, and bam. We just saved the damn day. Sounds easy. Sounds awesome. How do we do that? Um, yeah. Of course. Okay, well, we obviously need a diversion. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Wait, she picked the ring, though, right? I... Hey, <laughs> We have a little favor to ask. Oh, my God. Monsieur, may I know your face? I'm sorry? Oh, my. Oh, oh my. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> you must be French. Your hand smells like cheese. Yeah. Cheese. Ooh, uh, broke character there. Oh, you must be in the cafeteria. I'm happy to show you. Here, here. Uh, I... oh. Damn. <laughs> it's so wacky. Hold on now. Just stay put, okay? I just need to uh, grab my keys. We've completely forgot about Babyface for a while now. Are you fucking kidding me? You really must stop wandering around. Gracias. Okay, shall we? Oh! oh! Oh my lord! I don't think the cane is a good idea for you! Get in a seeing eye dog! Checkmate! This movie is absurd. Guys, we've got less than three hours to make this happen. Not gonna lie. It's gonna be close. I don't stop the killer, or he's gonna die. There we go. Brought baby face back. Wait, where are you going? But we still don't know who killer number two is. Sorry, bad timing. Oh my god. You can put it away. Come on, put it away. Slowly turn around. This is a really bad idea. There's a killer on the loose here. Go get help. Lori, move! Oh, jeez, hot damn! If she does go back to her time and the other her comes back to fill in what's happening here just to get arrested, that would be hilarious. Please tell me what's going on. At first I thought he was trying to kill me, but you, he's after who? It's over, Gregory. No, oh, okay. It was Pretty Boy. I was right. Why? Why? His wife found out about your affair. Oh. So he stole a page from your old playbook. He set tombs free, knowing that everyone would think that he killed you. And the secret of your affair would die with you. Bravo. Shoot him! Well done, indeed. You're gonna rot in prison. You see, there's one little detail you failed to realize in all this. Oh, really? What's that? What the fuck? Me. <gasps> oh! You really think I was gonna let a little whore like that ruin my life? Are you fucking serious? Do you mind if I do? I almost forgot. 
I want a divorce. <laughs> wow. Oh, nice. Fire up that magnet. Or not. Magnet. 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 Look who brought a screwdriver to a gunfight. Wait! I have something I need to tell you. You're screwed. Oh! I mean, it doesn't power on automatically, right? No. No, 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 no. Goodbye. No. I would have kept that shit on. <laughs> Tree. Savior of the multiverse. Bloody nose is gone. Wait. Danielle? Who? Yes! Okay, we woke up in hours. Oh my god, I think I just shit my pants. What the fuck? Who throws away a perfectly good churro? Oh no, don't. What the fuck is this? Ryan Pan, we'd appreciate it if you'd come with us to answer some questions. All of you. Are we in trouble? Please, right this way. What did they do? What you've created here is truly remarkable. We've been having some difficulties understanding how the device operates. There's so many different algorithms. It will be tough to find the right one to make it work. I might be able to help with that. Why do we even want it to work? So we just need to find a test subject. You want to trap somebody in a time loop? That's messed up. Unless they deserve it. I think I have the perfect recruit. Are you serious? That is fucked up. <laughs> like she's she's not cool, but that's messed up. Good god. This movie was I, I said it earlier, absurd. How did we go from a groundhog day storyline into this multiverse hopping time loop shenanigans. It turned into straight science fiction in this one. And I'm not saying that in a bad way, but like, my God, we took a leap and we leapt. <laughs> but I, I had so much fun with this one. It was a little bit less about the discovery of the murder. It was more or less about solving the problem about how to get back. I mean, I guess like in the first one was a little bit of that too with them figuring out how to stop the loop from occurring. This one like took everything from the four is like, hey, you guys, we've been here, we've done that. So we got to amp this to 11. Jessica Roth, again, knocks it out of the park. Like her manic frustration with this happening again, she just sells it so well. Like she sells the whole gamut of emotions throughout this movie so well. Like she's really fucking good in this. Everybody else in this is serviceable enough for their role because they're kind of fulfilling an archetype, but my God, does she shine. She's fallen in love, but now she's in this world where her boyfriend is there, but some of the same events play out the same way, but he never got to know her, but her mom's alive. So there's the potential for her to have everything she wants, but at the sacrifice of the tree that is meant to be here for a life that is not her own with memories that she doesn't even share with this version of her mother. And I like that sentiment 
about living in the past and finding ways to move forward, to accept your future and try something different, try something new. Again, like this movie has <laughs> almost feels like it has no right to kind of touch upon themes like this and even get so touchy feely to the point where it got me to tear up quite a few times. But at the end of the day, it is batshit insane. It is hilarious. It is absurd. It is not self-serious at times and then super serious at others. And then we have this cartoon character of a Dean in here as well. And let's be real, the students, most particularly the, the other dude there with Ryan, always had to kill the tension in every scene. Then the whole sequence with Danielle doing the whole like blind bit. That was hilarious. Like again, these sequences, like all these different tones that should not work, I think they do a really good job at just blending it all together and having a damn good time. That's all they're doing at the end of the day, having a damn good time. I do feel like this one, and maybe, I don't know, maybe in hindsight it's not that different, but I feel like there was like a significant lack of Babyface. I don't know, is he even called Babyface? That's what I'm calling him. What is the name of uh, the Babyface killer? Okay, I mean, it just, it just makes sense. So that's just what I was calling him. So I'm glad that's the official moniker. Like, we didn't really spend a lot of time on that aspect of it, but I like that the way that they played with the identity reveal. Obviously, the serial killer was the key component there, but who was using that as a scapegoat was changed completely. Flipped it around onto the cheating professor. And hell, he even brought his wife into this whole mix and then turned that on its head. What happens with the tree that goes back? To that timeline does it only fix her is that tree gonna wake up and be like what the fuck just happened and get arrested for everything that she just pulled in the hospital or is that timeline just erased altogether i got questions i would love to hear y'all's thoughts on all of that but at the end of the day our tree made it home righted all these wrongs and everything is back in place she's here with her carter and happily ever after from that point forward and then hell for building this machine, they got the attention of DARPA who brought them in and now they're trying to perfect whatever this is and manipulate time. We shouldn't be doing this. I feel like this machine should be destroyed. Jettison it into the sun. Great job. You figured it out. You made the thing. You found out what it does. Get rid of it. But hell, I guess now we can use it, I guess, as in substitution for imprisonment or the death penalty. Again, she was a bitch most of the time, but I don't think she deserves to be trapped in an infinite time loop like that. I don't know, it seems a little fucked up <laughs> to me, but I guess in the hindsight, like instead of sending people to prison, like people who actually deserve that could be trapped in a never ending nightmare. And now that's just in government hands. Good job. I don't know how I feel about that, but this was so much fun. I don't like it as much as the first one because I think the first one kept the premise very simple. This one definitely, like many sequels, overcomplicated it into a point where it's just, which the first movie, to be fair, is a parody of the Groundhog Day thing already. And then this became a parody of a parody and it just kind of stacks on itself. So I, I think as far as like films go, I definitely enjoy the first one more. This one's still fun. It is still funny. It is still a damn good ride and a damn good watch. I just don't think it's as satisfying as a watch, I'll say, as the first movie, but still worth the watch all the same. Absolutely hilarious and entertaining nonetheless. But yeah, and also another thing that draws into question, the fact that she has gone through these loops, now that it is closed, how's her body react to that? Does she permanently sustain those long-term injuries every time she's come back? That carried over from the last set, the last set of loops, she was still carrying over that damage into this new set. Like how much time does she even have? How much internal hemorrhaging does she have that she's not aware of or bone fractures or whatever? She's probably destined for a shortened lifespan, all thanks to Ryan and his dumbass friends fucking around with time. Good job, buddy, good job. Anyway, batshit insane movie, damn good time. Again, thank you guys for voting on the first movie and getting me to watch it, which led into this. I know we took our damn time to finally get around to checking it out, but this movie was a delight, worth the wait, worth the effort, all the same. And hell, I would not be against them making a three if they did and just fucking go even more batshit insane. I mean, hell, we never got a resolution for the version of Ryan that came back to try to himself from stopping him from even inventing the thing. 
which almost seems like it's counter to the explanation and the story that we get later with Tree because that never came back around. I thought the second killer was going to eventually be revealed to be the version of her from another timeline or something like that trying to take yourself out. I don't know. But we didn't touch on that at all. Anyway, talking about this movie, talking about time travel in general, like raises my blood pressure to the point. I know I'm sounding very excitable and manic, but that's what this shit does to me, man. I thought we'd start off the month with a fun one, a little bit on the outer rim of spooky, because it's very much so way less than the first film, that's for sure. What'd you all think? How'd you feel? What do you feel about this movie? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you want to see the full and three reaction, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or for coming to the channel, get you access as well. And speaking of before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Manny Sherry, your course, Scott Melito, Robert Anguiano, Jeffrey L., Jake Cottrell, Eric Official, Casey Wood, Russell Crockett, and Sam Moyer. Thank you guys so much for continued support. But that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.